What's up, YouTube? Oh, shit. Let me turn that shit down. This song is always playing when I record videos, man. What's up, YouTube? Your all boy Outlaw V2 coming at you on a Thursday, man. I'm headed up to SAC. We got some fucked off weather in Cali. Uh, the only thing it isn't fucked off is my haircut. Looks goddamn pretty fucking sweet. My boy Stephen P hooking me up. Uh, what else? Mm, my beard looking good. Gray Before Shave. Shout out to them, man. I've been using their products. Uh, it's called Gray Before Shave. Um, beard oil, little beard brush. Like, if you don't take care of your shit, man, all you guys out there with beards, uh, you know, brush your shit, man, because your girl ain't going to want to be fucking making out with you or want you down near her cooter uh, if you got pubic hair growing in your face, man. Make sure your shit is soft. Uh, what else? Uh, anybody that's going to that's in the service, man, I was in the service for 20 years, the Air Force. Um, so if you go into Iran, I know I got some followers that are fucking... Uh, that are deploying, man, that shit is mad fucking crazy, I am really not in support of fucking fighting anyone in Iran, we, cause we ain't got, we ain't got nothing going on over there, that bitch is just a bunch of fucking sand, and that's it, and, and fucking, and heat, um, but I don't want to talk about Iran or Trump or none of that bullshit, uh, shout out to my boy Luke Bro in Atlanta, he figured out how to fucking order gear finally, so I think he's gonna come on cycle, uh, and try to get, try to get up there with these big boys, um, because he's been fucking, he's been faking the funk, but, uh, nah, but just kidding, man, we're gonna do the same cycle, he doesn't know how much proviron he has, um, he's fucking looking to and fucking fro, he's looking in all the corners and all his little medicine bottles for as many fucking proviron tabs as he can find and he can put in his little mouth, um, but, I wanted to just do a little quick cycle update, just, you know, let, give you, give you some little things here and there that I've been noticing, uh, trend balloon dude i maybe it's because i switch vendors i don't know uh i'm doing 300 and bro in the morning i wake up like depressed and i know it's depression and i know it's hormone related because there's no reason that i should be depressed i mean seriously like i don't have nothing to be depressed about i get out of bed under my own power i can fucking i can stand up <coughs> i can drive to work like i have a fucking nice car um there's nothing so so when there's nothing to be depressed about and you're still depressed that's when you know it's like it's it's hormonal changes so you got to fucking be aware of that so i just stay ahead of it and i just i just try to just just shake it out of my head but know um that it's been happening like the last three days and because it's chemical man your brain your brain will just tell you that that shit's real like you know i'm really depressed like, <laughs> i need to talk to somebody you know, and all I do is I just keep my support structure. Uh, I just keep, you know, people that are close, close to me around me. Um, I text my boy, my boy Luke, uh, cause you know, he runs gear. So again, the workouts have been great. The focus has been great. Um, the pumps are good. My body is looking good. I need to up my cardio, um, just a little bit more. And I'm, I'm going to do some fasted cardio, I believe just to kind of just, uh, up the intensity. But um, other than that, everything's going fucking good. Um, so there's there, there's no issues at all with um, with the cycle itself. You know, as far as the, from a performance aspect, I'm getting everything I, I would expect out of like you know two weeks. The body's coming around. Uh, I can tell my abs are just protruding more. Your abs get a little bit denser. Um, oh, I noticed my fucking nipples like lit up. So again, you switch vendors, man, different mixtures, different UGLs, they can have different concentrate. You can have some underdose shit that you've been using for two years, and then you get some real normal shit, and then all of a sudden your freaking receptors light up. So uh, my nipples lit up off the base dosage of Arimidex. I was trying to do a half ADEX like twice a week, like Monday and Thursday. That wasn't working. Like my nipples weren't, weren't having that. They started to get sensitive. So now I think I'm gonna do ADEX on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, dosing schedule. I don't like doing like every other day because then I forget like fucking Monday and then Wednesday and then Friday and then su Sunday. Like I can't keep track of all that. I take way too much shit. So I'll just do Monday, Wednesday, or Friday as a normal 8X dosing. I'm doing caber twice a week, a 0.25 caber Monday and Thursday. Um, what else? So the depression, it's in the morning. I get over it. I have a cup of coffee. You know, I send out some fucking texts. I get some love from, from all the jabronis around me. Um, and then I go on about my fucking day. So today I'm just looking forward to a good-ass workout. 
Um, I'm going to do shoulders. I'm going to fucking wreck shoulders today. So all my bros out there, man, just like, 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 like I said, to let you know, you fuck with trend. This is what you got to get ready for. So for all, all you, uh, you bros out there that are freaking wannabe trend, trend guys, um, it doesn't come without its, uh, it doesn't come without its like, you know, negatives. Um, it's just a, it's, it's just psychological, man. You, it has its, it has its pros and cons. Anything, anytime you fuck with hormones, man, you know, this shit can happen. But, uh, so just keep the shiny side up, man. I love V2, man. Y'all have a good week. Have a good weekend. I'll hit y'all in week three.